While Johnny Healy was doing a masterclass on averages, he included an extra bit on averaging continuous data. He's with 20 year nines from two North London schools. There you go, Cliff. Come on in. Nice to meet you, keep chatting. company or business or factory could you stand right over here excellent all nice and friendly together 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 lovely could you turn over your cards on the back of the cards we've got a number in fact it's a value of money okay now let's say Caesar you've got six pounds which means that Caesar's company is making a profit of six pounds per hour six pounds every hour oh dear you're only making a profit of one pound an hour. What have you called your company? Gloves at first sight. Glove at first sight. Oh. oh. Do you know what? I went down to a Keel shop the other day and I bought a sample of his gloves. Here, try those on, Ben. Check them out. Yeah, you try those on, Yusuf. I think they're your, yeah, definitely your shade. Like him. Would you like to try those on, Melanie? They don't fit me. They really don't fit you. Are you listening, Akil? Where are your fingers, mate? Oh, they're under there somewhere. Bit wiggly. Bit wiggly. Have we got a problem here? Yeah. What's wrong with these gloves? The size. The size. Oh. Very small or very big. 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 Yeah. Maybe you could find the average of like everyone's hand size or something like that. Hand sizes? Fingers. 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 Yeah. yeah. What? Average length of fingers? Yeah. What a great idea, Mr. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> now, we've all got a ruler. Use your index finger. That's your index finger, the big one. I'd like to measure from your knuckle, your bottom knuckle, OK, to the top of your nail. Can you measure to the nearest millimetre, if you can? The nearest millimetre. I'd like to write that number down in centimetres. It's quite hard to measure, isn't it? 9.9. 9. 9. Go with that? Yep. Yep, 9.9. 9. OK. Go on. 10 point? 10. Just 10? 10. Yeah. 10.0. Yeah. Can anyone beat 10.0? 10. 0? 10. You got 10.0 as well. So the longest finger in the room is 10.0. 0. OK. How long's your finger, Ben? 7.5. 7.5! So your range is 10.0 minus 7.5. So we've got a range of 2.5. Centimetres. Interesting. OK. Right. If you are a seven-point-something person, like Ben, can you come up? Come on, Ben. <laughs> Hello, Ben. He's a seven-point-something, isn't he? Have we got any eight-point-somethings in here? Come on, up you come. Eight-point-something. It could be eight-point naught, it could be eight-point nine, it could be eight-point four. Excellent. Could you all stand in a line behind Clint? You eight point somethings. Yeah, that's better. Stand in a line. So we've got one, four, right, nine point somethings here. It's going to be a lot of you. OK. Stand in a line behind Agni and Mitchell. They're at the front to go. That's it. Two by two. That's it. All behind there. Which leaves the ten, ten point somethings, doesn't it? You two. Ten point something over here. OK, we've got you three. You three. Are you all ten point noughts? OK, so we've got everybody here. We've got seven point, eight point, nine point, ten point. OK, so I better just make a note of these values. Seven point somethings. Uh, that was Ben, so that's one person. OK, we've got how many eight points? Eight point four. There's four of you for eight point, OK. Uh, how many for nine point? Quite a lot of you. Twelve. Yeah, which must leave three people for the ten point. Brilliant. Sit yourselves down. OK, so I've made a note of these. There are frequencies. OK, what I'd like you to do now with your clipboards is find a table that looks like that. It's got four columns this time. And what does it say on the first column? Length of finger. Length of finger. What, what, what letter do you think I've used for length? L. L. Yeah? L just stands for the length, OK? I've got the length of finger and the frequency. I've gone for 7.8.9.10. I'm 
Not really happy about that. Seven point something, eight point. Should we write the word something? Is that a bit silly? Yeah. Eight point something. Could anyone be really clever and tell me how best to explain what I'm going to try and write here? Yeah, Isabel, uh, go on. Class width. What do you say? Class width. Ah, we could do class width. So you're saying this is class width. The length of the finger is a class width. And how would you write that down? Well, 7.0. Yep. Less than oh, L. Oh, stop talking. And I can tell she knows what she's doing. Up you come. 7.0. Just try and write it down here. Are you right-handed? That's it. 7.0. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Give her a round of applause. That is good. She's used inequalities, right? That is good. She's used inequalities. Um, and I like that. Because uh, it's the, uh, a more advanced sort of mathematical approach, isn't it? I'm a little bit unhappy about it because... Um, was anybody eight exactly? 8.0. Is anyone 8.0? No, was anyone 9.0? You were 9.0. If we just move on, and I know we had some 10.0s, you were 9.0, so if we continued that pattern there, then could we say that you belonged in this interval here if it was greater than 9.0? No. Not really. So what could we do to adjust Isabel's brilliant thinking? Any ideas? Yep. You could, rather than 7.9, you could make it 8. Yep. OK. I actually like what you've just said there. Some of you might not like that. Um, but if I put a strictly less than 8, it means anything up to 8.0, doesn't it? You know, what you could do is, instead of just having that less than thing, put the line, on the, it, so, the line underneath it saying less than or equal to. Right. On the first one? On yeah. both of them. Brilliant. Now we've got it. OK. What we're saying now is it can be anything from 0.0 and upwards, but less than the next whole number. So it includes 0.9, but it doesn't include 8. Because 8 naught will be on the next one, won't it? Can you see that? OK, could you write down the rest of those inequalities just in that column there? OK, so we've got 8 or 8 naught. I might just put 8, actually. Someone said, uh, someone said what they were, didn't you? You again, Isabel, wasn't it? What are they called, these things? Class widths. Class widths. Excellent. Sometimes we can call them class intervals. Have you heard of that one before? Yep. Intervals, yep. So 9, 10, 10. Right, brilliant. So we've got our class intervals. It's very important that we use these ideas here, this inequality idea, because we're dealing with what we call continuous data. You know, when we're measuring lengths, we can only measure them to the accuracy of what we're measuring with, what we're using, which is a ruler, isn't it? To the nearest millimetre is asking quite a lot, isn't it? It's not like we're counting sweets. That wasn't continuous data. Does anyone know what sort of data that is? When it's like, can only take certain values. Yep. Discrete. Discrete data, yeah. Can only take certain values, usually whole numbers. But discrete data could be shoe size, because that's only certain numbers, isn't it? Like, but you can still have half sizes, so nine and a half, ten. Discrete data. This is continuous. Brilliant. So we've got continuous data. Continuous data in class intervals. OK. And what was your term? What did you say? Class? Width. Widths. Yep. They've got the same class width. The class width is one centimetre, isn't it? OK. Brilliant. Um, now then, this is quite interesting. I want to focus on this large group here between 9 and 10. There were 12 of you, yeah? Stand up if you were in between 9 and 10. You 12 people, yeah? All of you, put your fingers up, OK? What can I estimate? What can I use as an estimate for all your finger lengths? Yep. Nine point? Five. What do you think? Nine point five. Nine point five? What do you think? Nine point five. Uh, what do you think? Nine point five. And do you think nine point five? Yeah. Why? Because it's the um, middle amount. It's basically the, the middle average. amount, the midpoint. Sit down. Brilliant. So the midpoint makes sense. What I'd like you to do. So what should we say for 7.0 to 8? 7.5. 7 it might be, actually, that we don't know the data. We might have just been given this information, OK? So, I mean, we actually do know what Ben's finger was. And what was it in the end? 7.5. It was 7.5 anyway. 
There you go, a bit of luck. But it could have been anything. If we go in the middle, it reduces the possible error, doesn't it? OK, because you'll find that lower values will tend to balance out higher ones. Brilliant. So work out your midpoints. Can we work out an estimate now for the mean? Millimo, what would you do, mate? Um, times of frequency by the midpoint. Frequency by the midpoint, yeah. So what would we get here? 7.5, 1 times 7.5, yeah? Yeah. So I'd say frequency times? Uh, midpoint. I'm with you. So now we're working at the total length of the fingers now, aren't we, basically? And then what would we do then? 4 times 8.5. And yeah. carry that on. Yeah. Then we find a right. Okay, so we're going to find a total length of finger, a total estimated length of all your fingers, and divide it by by twenty to get the mean. The number of your fingers. Okay, we've got uh, one hundred and eighty-seven divided by twenty. I think that's what everybody's been getting. Divided by twenty. Uh, so we're getting an answer of nine point three five. Centimetres. OK, 9.35 centimetres. Um, let's just have a quick check. What would the mode be? Is there a mode? It's the modal class. Brilliant. A modal class or a modal class interval. Excellent. What is the modal class interval? Uh, 9 to 10. Brilliant. So the mean's in that modal class, which is looking good. OK, that's looking good. So the mode, or the modal, I should say, modal, modal, Class interval, or the modal class, yep, and that's, um, what is it, between 9 and 10, OK? Yep, that's looking good. Um, you rounded yours off, didn't you, Isabel, to, to... You rounded it off, go on, what did you round it off to? 9. And you've crossed it out! Why did you cross it out? Because you thought it was wrong. She's rounded it off to 9. Any other rounding suggestions? Or should we leave it as it is? Leave it. I'm not so happy about leaving it, actually. There is a reason. Agony? Um, I rounded mine off to nine. You rounded yours to nine. Did you cross yours out? At the first, and then I wrote it again. Oh, right, you see, you're crossing out, writing it again. Hey, I don't mind, I don't mind, yeah? You made a mistake. I made a mistake? Surely nine. not. What have I done? Nine is less than or equal to you. Oh, they put it the wrong way round. Yeah. I did that on purpose. Just to check you were awake, yeah? Do you believe me? No. OK. No. Right then. Thank you for that. Much better. Thank you. Goodness me. I'm glad you spotted that. Now then, uh, so what are we going to go for? Nine. Any other suggestions for rounding? 9.4. 9.4. Do you know what? We have to think about the accuracy of our original data. How accurate was that? What did we measure it to? No, when we actually measured our fingers, to start off with, that's the original data, to the nearest millimetre, to the nearest 0.1 centimetres. So, so we, we only measured it to an accuracy of one decimal place, didn't we? So we certainly don't want to be more accurate than one decimal place. I think 9.4 is a reasonable estimate for the mean. OK? Remember, one thing from me today. If your average is good, then your numbers can be understood. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hold well on. Yeah.